All right, this is the night before I'm making a turkey cranberry tea sandwich. I have some chopped up craisins here, and then I have some rub sage that I throw into the Philadelphia cream cheese spread with a little bit of onion powder. Now, when you make a tea sandwich, you do want to put the spread on both sides of the sandwich just to keep the sandwich from getting soggy. And you put the, middle, the meat in the middle, and then you want to make sure that you don't cut it right away. You want to pop them into the refrigerator to let them set overnight. Now we're on to sandwich number two. This is going to be the roast beef and horseradish sandwich. I used a chive and onion Philadelphia cream cheese for this one and a lot of raw hot horseradish and a little bit of Worcestershire. Worcestershire. You know, the W, the W sauce. And that's gonna be spread on both sides with the fillings in the center once again. Now this is gonna be the most like common or iconic tea sandwich, the smoked salmon and dill with a little bit of cucumber. I put dill inside of the cheese, the cream cheese spread and I cut off only the ends of the cucumber and not the middle because when you have so many seeds in the sandwich, it can also cause it to be soggy. Once again, you put the spread on both sides of the sandwich and then the fillings in the center. Make sure that you are arranging the cucumbers in a way that you can cut the sandwich easily the next day. I just finished setting the table. It's almost always my favorite part. Now, we don't have a coffee table exactly. We just have this really long ottoman that I put a tablecloth over and I've dressed the table just so I can organize my thoughts on how the food's gonna go down. So I'll just show you that right now. Okay, the proper way to set up a cheese board is you want to have your mildest, softest cheese first, and then going clock right, clockwise, I'm going to add your semi-firm, more flavorful cheese, and then last, always, no matter what the texture is, the blue cheese is gonna go last because it is always the most pungent flavored cheese. Second, you wanna lay the meats down if you're gonna have meats. Sometimes I don't have meats, today I am. Uh, I put the spicy uh, calbrisier over here next to the blue cheese because that makes the most sense to me. And then I put the spiced or the herbed um, sopressata next to the Humboldt fog because this one also has herbs in it. So they'll be, they'll go together. Now the way I organized it was strawberries next to the blue cheese. The, basically just put the things next to the, put the accoutrement next to the cheese you think it will go with the most. In all honesty, the cheese board will look incredible as long as it's packed to the brim. When it comes to a smaller cheese board versus a larger cheese board, you're gonna want a smaller cheese board because it literally looks like it's billowing over and filled with different things. It looks plentiful. That's what makes it look good. The table has finally been set completely with all the stuff on it. And just so you know, our three tea sandwiches today will be a turkey cranberry, a roast beef and horseradish, and a Salmon, oops, sorry, a salmon and sort of. This is the wine bottle that we're drinking from today. It's important to explain this has a vintage, uh, 2016. Most champions don't have vintage, so we, they'll be marked as NV because champion is usually pulled from the best grapes of the year. So they don't traditionally have the same year, they just pick the best grapes at the time and blend them together. So this will have a 2016 vintage because all the grapes are gonna be from the same harvest. It takes way better, because that means that the year was a good harvest. So they had enough grapes to make a whole shipment of champagne that were of nice quality. And this is my favorite, it's a Blanc de Blanc, which means that all the grapes in here are gonna be Chardonnay. And it is a traditional method. So that means that the second fermentation completely happened with inside the bottle. 